content of the course book comes in topics and projects and exercises. Topics and projects and exercises all generally work the same way, but you'll see different kinds of stuff in the in the different uh, in between topics and projects and exercises. This is a typical um, uh, topic that you see on the screen here. It'll have a title and it'll have um, possibly an abstract, not always an abstract, but sometimes an abstract up here. If the topic is overdue, you'll see this message up here, topic is overdue. At the bottom of the file, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see more details about the topic, when it's due, uh, how many questions you've answered, and what your score is in that topic. Then the topic will have um, uh, some text in, some text associated with it, um, generally a video associated with it, and that video is a YouTube video, so it works the way all YouTube videos work. You can click in the middle to get it to play, or you can click outside the middle of it to go to YouTube and play it from YouTube. You can click the button down here to go to full screen. If it happens to have a high res, like a 420 or a 720p version, um, you'll see a little button down here for that. Oops, that's full screen mode. Um, down here is a little icon that tells you where the video was shot. If you click that icon, you'll go to a world map that shows where all of the videos, um, uh, where all of the videos of the course book were shot. And so it will give you a map and show you all the different places where the videos were shot. Um, this button over here will load the video. Um, the videos come in a variety of formats, so if you download videos, um, get yourself a good video player. They're not unusual formats, so you should be able to play pretty much anything that you can download. So we have a video, we have text, followed by some questions. In the case of the topics, the questions will generally, well no, not generally, the questions will always really be multiple choice and fill in the blanks and short answer questions. It's when you get into the exercises and the projects that you'll get the file upload questions. Okay, so that's the general look and feel. That, that really goes for all, all the content items, all the um, uh, topics and projects and exercises. And in addition, they have these four menu items up here. Body is what we're looking at right now. Help is the place you go to get help. Bugs is the place you go to log bugs. And commentary is uh, uh, is gleaned from past courses, either past help requests that students have logged about this particular item or past um, notes that students have taken about this item. I'll go more into the commentary and bugs and help um, a little bit later. So that's the, uh, that's those are topics. And in order to see the exercises and activities, let's go to the full course table of contents. This full ta course table of contents is a much better way to look at the course um, when you're trying to get a feel overall for what is in the course. The, t the, the um, schedule view that gives you the modules and units of the course helps you move through the course, but when you want to know what's going on and what all the different Area, areas of um, information are in the in the course book, this is really the place to turn. So we can open up the exercise pane and see a bunch of exercises. Um, we'll go to a typical exercise here. This is a typical exercise and it has um, sort of the exercise home page. Exercises are meant to be done pretty much all at the same time. They'll have a single due date for the entire exercise. Projects, on the other hand, are meant to be done in stages across multiple modules. So this one happens to have a couple of different um, steps. If we go to step one, we'll see that it can also have um, videos, it can also have images, it can also have uh, um, various kinds of questions in it. But the predominant question really in um, the predominant question in exercises and projects really is the file upload. So here we have um, uh, some instructions telling you how to, how to do the exercise and then questions. And in this case, there are only multiple choice and fill-in questions. But when you get to step two of this exercise, you see that there are um, file upload and um, auto trigger questions. So the main event really of the exercises is to do that file work. In addition, you may see some um, download links. So if there are files that you need to uh, use in, in this exercise or in a project step, you'll see the links for them and you can download or open them uh, in, your XML, um, uh, in your XML editor. So here we have um, uh, question number one, which is a file upload question, and question number two, which is an, uh, uh, an auto-trigger question. And then we have the evaluation rubric. Down at the bottom of the screen, we can go to the previous step. If there was a next step, we could go to that. Um, projects, very similar, work almost exactly the same way, except that um, 
they're meant to be done over multiple um, over multiple weeks over multiple modules and they look pretty much the same as the exercise steps if we go to a project step here you'll see that um, we pretty much have the same stuff in there that we had in the exercise step and really the the main difference between projects and exercises is that projects are just larger scale and they'll take you quite a bit longer to do um, and in this case you see that we have three questions and um, a couple of different file uploads involved in this particular exercise so that's the idea you consume content through topics and 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 projects and exercises um, they all have the ability to give you to give you evaluative questions but the file upload questions are generally in the projects and exercises and they all have a similar um, a similar display including the um, the four uh, the four items on the menu here oh one more thing before I sign off for this topic is notes uh, if you click the notes um, uh, command on the navigational bar here you'll see that the screen updates to give you at the top of your um, item a place where you can type your notes so go ahead and use that if you like to if you want to leave some notes on a page for yourself these are notes that only you see um, if you take some good notes and we notice um, we may actually ask if we can include those notes as commentary for um, for future students